Student journalists at Grant High School devote an entire issue of their magazine to the issue of sexual assault. The magazine staff sent an email to parents and students earlier this week recognizing it's a difficult topic, but one they feel is vital. Let's go to our Amy Frazier, who's live outside Grant High School on the Marshall campus. Amy, you got to sit down with those students. What did they have to say? Well, the magazine normally doesn't have just one theme, but this time the students felt it was important. I think it's a very real fear for a lot of people our age. We sat down with five student journalists at Grant High School who, along with their classmates, just put out a 36 page issue of Grant Magazine devoted entirely to the topic of sexual assault. At first, it was a lot of silence, a lot of people just with their heads down looking at the magazine. Um, I mean, this is an issue that's so real for so many of the students here. They've been working on the issue since the summer, inspired in part by the national Me Too movement, as well as a controversy at the school last spring. A student here had posted a list of boys at this school who she had heard had sexually assaulted other students. And so with all those things on my mind, I felt like this was a really important issue. The students wanted the articles to be open and honest, covering everything from the history of sexual assault to a survivor's firsthand account to what happens or doesn't happen when a rape is reported. A lot of the people who read our magazine have experienced sexual assault or unfortunately may experience it in the future. So we thought um, it would be incredibly important to include um, resources for them to um, contact in case anything happens to them or someone they know. Students say they're proud of their work. And I really hope um, it can be read by lots and lots of people because I think it could be a really good resource. Yeah. More than anything, they hope it inspires a conversation that leads to change. And I think this is just a reminder that, you know, we can't just put it into the sidelines and say this is happening outside of our school. This is happening here, in our hallways, in our classrooms, right where we live and work and, and learn. And if you'd like to read Grant Magazine, you can check out a link at coin.com. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Thank